Hey, y'all. Welcome back. I wanted to give you guys an inside look at my weekly Trello board. Last week, I shared how I utilize batch-themed days to prioritize my to-do list, and I mentioned that I utilize Trello to keep me on track. So this week, I wanted to share a little behind-the-scenes look at what my weekly Trello board looks like and how I go about organizing all of that. So if you take a look over here, I have a lot of Trello boards. I utilize Trello for all of my businesses. So I have creative at heart boards. I have my wedding planning business boards and I have my lifestyle and education brand, the Catch Moyer brand boards here. My team also utilizes Trello. So we have a lot going on on Trello and I absolutely love this tool. My team cat board is actually my weekly board. All of my team members have um, a Trello board, and um, I just call mine the team cat board because we each, um, for consistency's sake, have boards with our names on them. So my team cat board is my weekly board. I have utilized a weekly board in Trello for a little over two years now, and I've swung from really complex systems into really simple systems. What I have found, y'all, is that the more complex my weekly board is, the less likely I am to utilize it and to utilize it well. So while you might take a look at this and think, whoa, cat, this looks a little complex, I promise it's actually not. This does not talk about any of my workflows. This board is truly for brain dumping priority tasks making sure that I stay on track with projects and allowing my themed work days to work well. All of my workflows you will find on the specific project board. So my content calendar board is where I go in depth on my blog workflow, my YouTube workflow, my newsletter workflow. The creative 24 seven board is where I go in depth with my membership site workflow et cetera, et cetera, with all of these boards. So this team cat Trello board, my weekly Trello board, I try to keep as simple as possible, even though to you it might not look simple. But let me break it down because I promise it is. So first things first, I always like to see my monthly goals. This year for 2019, I decided to do something a little bit different, and I created one goal for my business for every single month of the year. Um, this has been already really helpful for me to make sure that I'm focusing on big picture to-dos and also moving the needle on my business. So here is my checklist for my 2019 monthly goals. And then I also have a section where I have just random to-dos. These are uncategorized um, to-dos that I have in my business, and I just want to be able to quickly reference them as needed. Then, because I do have multiple businesses, um, so for those of you with multiple revenue streams, this might work well. I like to quickly see priority DSE and KS tasks here, and then priority creative at heart things. This allows me, as I'm looking at my week, to quickly move things over into a specific day if I feel like I can go ahead and tackle it, and also just have a good idea of what's going on in each of these businesses and what I'm working on right now. A lot of these things on these two priority lists are not tasks, they are projects. So like example, update the DSC website. That's a project. That's probably not going to happen in one day unless I spend an entire batch day working on it. So this for me, again, is just allowing me to see priority tasks for all of my businesses right here front and center. And I don't have to flip through a variety of boards to see that. Now, let's get to the weekly content. I have a list for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On every single list, I have to-dos. I like to see this, the to-dos, as a label and then all of the to-dos underneath of that. So another way that you could do it is say you wanted to keep things simple. I'm just going to move this one over here for convenience sake right now. Um, say you wanted to keep things simple and on to-dos, you want to make a checklist that's your Monday to-dos, and you want to have your to-dos listed in a checklist form. So maybe it's email Megan regarding blog, send 
Emily breakout session info. You understand what I'm saying. These are my Monday to-dos. So maybe you want to have them in a checklist format. I found that I actually like to physically see the checklist. So rather than having to click on the card and then see the checklist, I like to see how I've done it here for Wednesday under my to-dos label, have the three things that are my to-dos for Wednesday. So you could do it a couple different ways. That's the great thing about Trello is you can customize it. I just personally like to see everything. So let me delete this checklist so it doesn't throw me off later and move this one back. So you can see that Mondays for me are prep days. I have a label for every business. And the cool thing about Trello is you can click on the labels to read what the label is, or you can simply just see the colors. So let's take a look at my label. See, I have a label for every business. And this allows me to know that Monday, I'm working on all three because it's kind of a catch-all prep day for all of them. A lot of my Monday mornings are just inbox management. Going back through my emails for all three businesses, um, getting on track with um, maybe some emails that I needed to catch up on and things like that. And then I do like to give myself one to three task-driven to-dos on Monday. So after I've prepped for the week and caught up a little bit, then I focus on my task-driven than to do's. On Tuesday, it's all about content because for me, a lot of my business is content prep. So you can see that I've already created my list of things that I need to get done for my Tuesday content day right here. On Wednesday, it's appointments. So typically, I do not give myself a lot of to-dos on Wednesdays because I'm slammed with appointments. Um, I do have two things that I would like to squeeze in between appointments if possible because I felt like they were quote-unquote smaller tasks that I should be able to easily do. So we'll see what happens. Thursday, project management day. So Thursday, being my project management day is when I might take a look at one of these big projects over here and say, you know what? I really want to batch out these announcement newsletters. So I want to do that on Thursday. Or maybe I decide, you know what? Thursday, I'm really going to focus on the DSC website. So I am going to just focus on that on Thursday. Typically, what I do, so again, on Monday, on my prep day, when I'm looking at the week, that's when I'm deciding what my project management is for that Thursday. And if I decide, you know what, I want it to be update the DSC website, I try to break that into smaller tasks because, again, this is a big project. So what I might do is go ahead and create a checklist on here that says um, update imagery, um, revise homepage copy update pricing sheet. Those are the three things that I would like to do that are related to my website so that I feel like I can break this big project into smaller tasks. All right, let me delete this. Um, delete my little example here. Actually, I'm going to move this one back over. Um, and then on Friday is my catch-up day. So inbox management lives on Mondays and on Fridays. Um, I try to always make sure that I'm going in and um, catching up on those things so that the beginning of the week, my inbox is hopefully under control. And by the end of the week, my inbox is hopefully under control. And then I'll also pop in to-dos on Friday that didn't get done throughout the week. So maybe on Wednesday, I actually didn't have time to call Chuck. I'm going to move this over to Friday so that I remember to do this on Friday. Again, y'all, I want to keep this as simple as possible. Um, I want to make sure that I can easily scroll through and see what's going on, easily move tasks over to various days of the week, and not get too sucked into the workflow. I will utilize my other Trello boards for overall workflow and larger to-dos. Example, content calendar where I map out the blog posts I'm working on, the YouTube videos I want to film, and then move them over here to my team cat board when it's time for me to actually start acting on those to do's and making them happen in my business. I hope this was helpful for y'all um, in giving you a better look at how I utilize Trello to organize and batch my themed days throughout the week. If you would like to um, have access to even more awesome tools and resources specific to you and your business, make sure you take the What's Your Creative Personality quiz. It's going to be linked below in the description to gain exclusive access to that content. Thanks, y'all, and I will see you next week.